Hello, YouTube. I was going to say Facebook. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. What's going on? I'm out of here. Um, okay, so updates, updates. So struggling. I miss chicken and rice. I miss pizza, hamburgers. Even the way that I described things to my therapist was like, you know, like ham in a, in a freezer. Yeah. And she's like, what? <laughs> I was like, you know, it's cold, like ham in a freezer. And I was like, now I want ham. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, a lot of people might not know this about me, but I do see a therapist. I haven't in the last three months because I've been so busy. Um, it happened two years ago when <clears throat> I lost a hundred pounds. I had no idea, no idea that you could get depressed losing weight. It happened to me. It sure enough did. Um, it wasn't necessarily that I wasn't happy about the weight loss. It really wasn't that it was such a huge change in a short amount of time. It was eight months, a hundred pounds gone was doing the Dukin diet, which is something I actually really enjoy doing. Um, it's basically a low carb diet, you know, high protein, low carb diet. Um, and I trained myself to eat a lot better using that as a, as a framework for my new lifestyle, which actually, interestingly enough, aligns directly with people who need gastric bypass surgery or who have had the sleeve or gastric bypass sur surgery. So yay for me getting my stuff together. But, um, yeah, I hadn't seen her in a while and I just sort of was, I didn't get to go full into all of my feelings about all of the stuff that was going on. So, um, but we'll probably be able to do that at least before the surgery cause I've got two weeks. So kind of looking forward to that. Um, now yesterday when I was approved, uh, for April 11th, I mean, it's not like still completely official. The final paperwork has to be done with the insurance company and all of that stuff. But I'm pretty sure I'm 99% sure if this is happening. Um, I was told by not the nutritionist, but the woman who does the scheduling and who gets people ready for the next steps that, what I'm eating now, which has been basically two to three protein shakes. Sometimes I can only really get in two. And then what I was doing was having like a bowl of soup with, with frozen, like I would take the nut so sodium broth, heat it up, put some seasonings in the mix. Then I would add vegetables to it and make a vegetable soup. And she said, Nope, can't do that anymore. I lost 16 pounds off the darn thing. Like, really? So no chicken, no steak, nothing else. And now you're taking my soup away. And she said, basically, it's because when you have the surgery, you're only going to be able to eat a little bit at a time. So you can't eat and drink at the same time. So I luckily now have three weeks to train myself to do that. And by yesterday, it was already too late because I already had this thing of soup made. I'm like, I'm not throwing away the soup. That seems ridiculous. So I am, I did it today. Had a protein shake this morning before my appointment. Um, I came straight home. Well, it's like, it was like about maybe an hour ago. Or so, um, and I had no protein shake, but I made a whole package of spinach, you know, the packages that you could buy at the store. Um, and I threw it in with some garlic and a little bit of salt and I just made that and so I made like a little you're I'm I'm basically only allowed like a cup of vegetables a day now so supposed to be two to three protein shakes a cup of vegetables and broths that's what I can eat now and the sugar-free tea and the crystal lights or whatever else you know that we want to drink but um I can't eat and drink at the same time so hard. It's, it's hard. Um, but I 
basically I made the soup and I didn't put anything else in it in the soup other than seasonings and I made the spinach so I had two separate bowls of food and I purposely sat down and I ate all the spinach all by itself which came to about one cup of the whole package you know when it shrinks it shrinks so I had a whole thing of of the of spinach and garlic and then um, I waited a few minutes and then I started to eat the soup which is basic just the broth but I still had to sneak in some of this some of the sugar-free tea while I was drinking it but I figured well if I'm just like you know if it's liquid anyway what's the difference right but I'm trying to train myself to keep it separate keep it separate um I'm tired today yesterday was a long day the hospital all day had some breakthroughs while we were there which I talked about in my last video and then today I kind of had another breakthrough when I was waiting at the doctor's appointment so um, I'm looking forward to getting some things done but I'm just so tired I just feel like a day I need a day off Ooh, and then um, this morning I had an angel card reading before my therapy appointment and let me just tell you this lady was on the ball she had it together. As soon as she gives me her information, I'll post it in the video below so you guys can um, check her out. But she basically did an angel card reading for me. And it was super supportive and said that all of the stuff that I'm working on right now is in alignment with what I need to be doing. And uh, my idea for this business that I have is going to work out really well. So, determination! Lots of determination to get it done. And that's all I got for today. Um, hopefully I will survive the evening. I'm just craving a steak. I'm just craving a steak. Yeah, and then she told me also I can't have any chicken or steak for six months after the surgery. I'm seriously thinking about just breaking away and having a cheat meal. But... I'm trying not to. I'm trying to be good. I really am. I've had enough cheat meals. That's how I got in this position the way it is, right? So, yeah. All right. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you are awesome. And I hope you are crushing whatever weight loss that you need to wait to get off weight loss to get off. Hope you're crushing all of your dreams and goals. Um, and thanks for watching and, uh, I'll keep you guys posted on how this goes. If I can make it through the next, what, 24, 48 hours, I should be okay. Right. It actually wasn't so bad. Drinking the broth was okay. Um, I just, now it's been like an hour and a half and I'm a little hungry again. So maybe it's time for that protein shake. Oh, tip, 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 tip. Um, so what I do is I use that stop and shop thing. I was showing you with a ball, the real, you know, wiry ball thing that's in there. And you shake it up and it all mixes. If I was going to do this, just the broth, excuse me, <laughs> what I've been doing is I make the shake and then I stick it in the fridge um, instead of putting ice in it uh, because it's cooler. And, um, and it's not icy. I don't have to worry about the crushed ice because I like my Ninja and I like, I was making it like blended before with the ice in it. Uh, and then I was like, no, I just kind of, I really just kind of like the ice in it to make it cool. Um, and now I'm kind of feeling like I just like the shake, not diluted, like just the way it is. So I could try that. That's a different way to get your protein shake in without ice in case you never thought to do that. I don't know. Um, this is all new for me. So thanks for watching. This is it. I'm done. Under 10. I'm trying to stay under 10. Um, I hope you guys are awesome. Feel free to ask me any questions and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.